left, we've stopped off for a food challenge in a place in the far west regions of Sydney in a suburb called Canley Heights. We're here for a specific challenge to eat two and a half kilograms of pho, Vietnamese pho soup. And I have 11 minutes to eat it. If I finish it within 11 minutes, I get to keep the bowl which I ate it out of and I also get it for free. So I don't have to pay the $22 that apparently it costs. So this is the high street going on down there, little markets, restaurants. And this is where we're coming to though. I don't have a clue how to pronounce that, but that's where we're coming for the challenge. It is a nice little restaurant. Asian sort of style, very good smells. In a way, the food challenge could actually be a secret food challenge, which is not actually on the menu from what I can see. So you find out about it online. Apparently a lot of people fail at this. So we'll see, I don't plan on being one of those. This is the food right here. And just to show you a comparison, that's Chloe's, that's mine. That actually, look at the comparison that Chloe's, mine. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. It smells good though. Good to wipe and go. <laughs> mm. That's hot. That's very hot. But there you go. Little thing they do is too hot to actually eat is steaming hot to the point you can't actually swallow it. Mm. The actual food amount in there isn't crazy, it's more water, but they, they put that much water in there to keep it steaming hot too. We'll see whether I can actually do it in the time. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I got my own bowl. I did it in 10 minutes, 23 seconds. I get my name on the Hall of Fame. But the actual taste of the food is fantastic. The actual taste of the food. That is an utter speed challenge. And that was scolding hot at the beginning. So little tip, get water like this. When you get water like this, tip it in. Yes, it makes more fluid for you to drink, but it cools it hell down. Because I make you eat it hot, my tongue is a bit scalded. It will heal, but it does hurt a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. This is my empty bowl though. And what I mean earlier, you don't have to leave things on the side, little things like this, as long as you eat the majority of it, I don't mind if you leave that. I feel stuffed. My stomach is like expanded as much as it can. And not solid, I haven't eaten all day. Now I don't need to eat and I got a free meal, so it was very good. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my, I don't know how I'm moving. My stomach, I, I'm not doing this to try and be attractive or not, but literally right now, that is hard as. My stomach is so out. Oh wow, it's the hard, damn expanded, pregnant food baby. <laughs> it's crazy. But the actual taste of the food, other than the actual quantity of it, the taste of it is fantastic. It's actually the best food I've had in Australia, I think. Chloe's actually carrying that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dishy Dan lives up to the name, okay? Don't ever say I don't know food challenges. So, yeah, I'm sorry, it is very dark. We are at the beginning of the Blue Mountains National Park, so we'll be going to explore that tomorrow. See you in the morning. Good night. <laughs>